Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sean of Third Relify, and I hope you're having a, a fine day. Man, it doesn't have to be great. I hope it's not shitty, but I hope you're having just at least, at the bare minimum, hope your day's fine. A glamorous, because they're always glamorous now. I don't know why the Daily Mail is obsessed with using this word. Everyone is glamorous, it seems. Anytime there's a pretty criminal, maybe she's got hair or sunglasses or a flowery dress or something, and the Daily Mail is like, oh, look at that female criminal. She's so glamorous. Holy cow. Anyways, glamorous. Missouri math teacher Haley Clifton Carmack admits having sex with student and leaving her mark. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, here is another story. This is the stuff that you love. I'm giving you what you want here. This is a story about a teacher who wanted to really fuck a kid and uh, just left like a bear, like a grizzly bear just down his back like this. But, but the kid's 16. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not some, some like 20 some odd year old student who's like in university as as much as I don't think teachers should bang students I mean once you're out of out of high school I don't give a shit bang your professors all you, all you want professors bang your uh, adults students all you want I don't care it, it's probably illegal still I don't care I don't we're just not doing kids a Missouri math teacher admitted to having sex with a student after she was arrested when police obtained photographs of the scratches she left on the kid's back. Now, not, not to get too, I don't know, personal with you, although you guys are like family, so why not get just a little bit personal? You know, I mean, I'm sure you've had the, the scratches on your back as well that go from the top to the bottom. and um. They're not exactly the most comfortable thing to have. They sting when you sweat. You can't you can't do anything. And if and if you are doing any sort of kind of labor, you know, gardening or whatever, and you get those scratches, you start to bleed through your shirt. And it's just it's just a really, you know, it's an uncomfortable thing. I mean, or at least it at least it was for me. But then again, I was a kid. Haley Clifton Carmack, 26, pleaded guilty on Friday to sexual contact with a student in exchange for having other charges, including statutory rape, child molestation, and child endangerment dropped. So the um, prosecutors, who again are political animals, um, they are going for a slam dunk. They're instead of actually getting her for what she's done they're getting her for the bare minimum so they can have a an easy time a 100 percent conviction rate on on this case it's gross i think it's kind of gross she faces up to four years in prison and will be on house arrest until she is sentenced on october 11th so if she has kept her nose clean for the most parts um, of, of her life and hasn't done anything ridiculous, although she is an actual um, diddler of children, maybe this isn't the first kid that she's diddled. Probably not going to be the last. Um, she, she very well may just get a slap on the wrist, and that's that. I think they call that the pussy pass. Um, although... I have covered cases sort of similar, and judges have not been kind, and they have given out for 6, 10, 15 years. The teacher was caught after police were informed of the relationship between Clifton Carmack and the student after a classmate came forward and showed photos of the teen's scratches. So I bet they, they were probably significant. The teen's father, Mark Creighton, who kind of seems he's, he's like a bit of a piece of garbage. 
is accused of knowing about the relationship but failing to report it and has been charged with endangering the welfare of a child. So this is the teacher. Everybody look and gawk. Oh, she's so pretty. She could scratch my back. Yes, I know you're all thinking it because I thought it too. But that's a pedophile. Don't think nice things about a pedophile. Pulaski County Prosecuting Attorney Kevin S. Hillman told People that this case is on hold until the teacher is sentenced and uh, he has agreed to assist the state and testify if needed. Clifton Carmack was arrested by the Garden Ridge Police Department in early January in Comal County, Texas. But the sexual conduct took place in Missouri's Pulaski County, about 800 miles away from where she was apprehended by police. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if she ran, but she definitely skipped town. Court documents state how the teenage boy and the teacher had sex during uh, school while um, using other students as lookouts, according to KRCG. According to court records, the Pulaski County Sheriff's Department was contacted by the Lackey School Resource Officer who reported the relationship. Now, here's a photo of the kid's father. I don't know. He looks like a piece of shit, like a piece of trailer park. But what, what do I know about that? Um, from what, and I don't know if this article will say it, it may have been another article that I read about this case, is that the, the father knew about it, and on the one hand, he was like, yeah, boy, yeah, boy, you clap those cheeks, high five. But then on the other hand, he was like, yeah, if I report this to the police, then my kid might get in trouble, and I'm not going to involve my child in, in the police. I don't want him to be in trouble. And then I'm like, oh, I understand. Okay, so a part of it is out of love. But then the other part is you're actually a moron because your child is a victim of rape. And you're like, I don't want them to get in trouble. They're not going to get in trouble because they're the victim. What's the matter for you? A student came forward and showed photographs of his classmate with scratches on his back to law enforcement. The teen said the scratches were from Clifton Carmack after having sex with the teacher in the classmate's driveway. So these guys banged. They were banging in the classroom. They were just pumping on the desk and they had students guard the door. All right, Jimmy and Susie and Tina and Tommy, you you block the door. You you block the door. We're just going to hump in here. Make sure, you know, show like a bird. Caca, caca. If somebody's coming, they're literally lookouts. And then on another day, they're 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 banging in the car. And she's just like, I'm gonna leave my mark on this kid, Urgh, like a bear, Urgh, all the way down his back. Clifton Carmack, who has two daughters of her own, because of course she does. I wonder how would she would feel if her daughters were 14, 15, 16 years old, and uh, they had a a teacher. Doesn't matter, a male teacher, female teacher, whatever, who was like, I'm gonna. I'm going to hump this child so good they'll never forget. She'd probably lose her fucking mind. But, you know, she was recently divorced um, after having been married to a gentleman named Chance Carmack, who is an amateur mixed martial arts fighter. Not, not an important detail. And he had also com uh, completed basic training in the U.S. Army. Also, not important detail. Probably happy that he's no longer married to a pedophile. Detectives visited the school on December 8th to speak with the teacher and took her phone, but until police got a warrant to unlock it, they were unable to see any incriminating messages. At the time, Clifton Carmack denied having any kind of relationship with any students outside of school. After getting a warrant, police found text messages that related to the alleged relationship with the 16-year-old boy. The student came, uh, who came forward to report the relationship said the teacher is too friendly with students and sometimes will dress inappropriately at school. According to court documents, Clifton Carmack would often wear tight or low-cut shirts to show off this is the 
funniest part. To show off her headlights. The student said, to show off her headlights. She would also wear tight leggings that show off her body and would often be reprimanded by the school's administration for being too close with students. Now, many of you are probably, actually, according to YouTube analytics, you're, you're the same age as me. Um, I don't get too many of them youngins on this channel because they're not really interested in crime. They're more interested in, like, brat shit. I don't even know what that is, skibbity toilet. What the fuck do I know? Anyways, back in the 80s, and I was and I was born early 80s, and I guess early 90s, teachers would wear really, really, really short mini skirts. That was the fashion. Everybody did it. Everyone had a really short mini skirt or whatever. And so teachers would, as they're writing on the chalkboard, yes, we used to have chalkboards back then. They would write on the chalkboard and students would be able to sort of see up their skirts because they were like their arms were up and everything would raise and whatnot. And uh, so they would actually have to learn how to face the class. Maybe I wonder if any of you remember any of this. They'd have to face the class and hold out an arm and write on the chalkboard like this while. Wait, let me let me make this like, yeah, here we go. They would. They would they'd go like this and they would just write like with their back to the chalkboard and, th and they would do that because they didn't want the skirt writing up. And then eventually school boards were like, hey, listen, it's the fashion. I get it, but you can't dress like a whore at school. It's too distracting to everybody. We're seeing up your skirt. What is that? A cervix? Like, come on now. It's got to be like knee length. It can't be like blowy. Can't be see through. Probably should stay away from the Lululemons because I don't know what Luan does to a woman's ass, but it's fucking magical. We're going to have, we have standards here. Anyways, this teacher seemed to <laughs> violate all of those rules. As it says here, she wanted to show off her headlights. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. I love you all so very much. And um, I will see you in the next video, which will also talk about teachers dealing students because there's so much of that. Anyways, thank you. Peace. Peace. Peace.